I might sneeze soon. Do you want to? Oh. <laughs> There's the dog. <laughs> I'm Ryan. I have freakishly long arms. This is Talia. She has normal arms. Hey, I'm Liz. I'm Adam. And we're using those arms to read Dollar General Reviews. We're gonna read Dollar General Reviews. We're gonna read them and we're gonna talk about them. You ready? I'm, I was born ready. Let's go. Mm. All right, this is a one star review. Merchandise scattered all in the aisle and impossible to get by. Rude manager Kevin. Oh, got called out. Didn't care if I ever came back. People loitering inside and out. I realize it's a Dollar General, but still should be courteous to paying customers. All right, RT, I believe that you went in with a false impression of yeah. what Dollar General Okay, but me. honestly, while RT was writing this review, I think they should have written out, I realize it's a Dollar General, paused, and then backspaced yes. the entire review. All Dollar Generals are one star. The reason why he didn't care if you were gonna come back is because Dollar General doesn't care if you're gonna come back. Um, and let's be real honest, you're gonna go back. You are! Because you're gonna need something. Um, I, I don't know what kind of what he expected from Kevin. Because um, he said, didn't care if I ever came back. Because he doesn't. Nobody, who does? <laughs> like, like, oh no, Kevin. He's oh, not, Kevin's mad at me. RT's not gonna come back. I think the most shocking thing is that he saw a manager at Dollar General. <laughs> I've never seen a manager. Uh, also, people loitering inside and out. I feel like there's a story. I'm That's... picturing like a couple of a couple of punk teens in the '90s sitting yeah. outside the Dollar General smoking ciggies, flipping coins. Flipping coins. They're always flipping <laughs> coins. This is from Becky. Four stars. Hey. This store always has what I'm going in for. It mm. stays organized and relevant. Wow. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Dollar General really got their thumb <laughs> on the zeitgeist. Yeah. <laughs> they already had school supplies for August when I went in today. Uh, when did you write? Oh, you wrote this in July, so they already had school right. supplies for it in August. Right. Um, I never have trouble getting in and out of the store. They also have a pretty good sized refrigerator freezer section. Mm -hmm. and my only tip would be to try not to have to pee when you're there. Mm. My daughter needed to use the bathroom today, and it was the first time I'd ever gone in their restroom. It was disgusting. To begin with, the door to walk into the bathroom is filthy. Really bad. <laughs> the inside of the bathroom was no better. I'd have rather used a portal end. But if you don't use the potty, good store. Good store. Good store and good story about the, the yeah. bathroom there. Um, this was not a review of a Dollar General. This, this was a review of a Dollar, dollar General bathroom. You know, the, the relevant Dollar General is is always interesting. She said, on top of the trends. Yes. Ready to go at any second. They've got Balenciaga in there. They've got <laughs> Gucci. But the thing is, the bathroom is disgusting. Yeah, bathroom is irrelevant. Dollar General, you go in there for one thing. Ram. We walk outside with a bunch of off-brand candy that tastes better than the actual thing. It's not peach rings, it's it peach rings. And so <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, well. It, it peach rang. Yeah, it, it's, it's like always the knockoff brand, and but they taste they're, better. They're shaped like this. Yeah. yeah, it's not even an O, it's like this squished. These like, are peach rings. Peach, peach rings. I, the thing is, I'm gonna be in Dollar General for 30 seconds max. Yeah, if I can help it. Yeah. I, if I have to pee, I'm gonna wait until I get home because the thing is, the Dollar General is within one mile of my home. I can hold it. Yeah, and it's probably within one mile of any other bathroom. Right. Period. I don't think I've, I don't think I realized Dollar General had bathrooms. Yeah, because I don't want to go there. Yeah, like that seems like the sunken place. I'll like, just hold it until I get home. Judy S. from Columbia, South Carolina gives it three stars in 2022. Short but sweet said, I love them, but they never even have carts, only baskets. Get more carts. I see people come in looking for carts, but all three are nowhere and everyone has baskets. It's ridiculous. Okay, in the Dollar General lore that we have established so far, we understand that there is so much Sheesh. in the aisles that you cannot move past. Where are you gonna put a cart? I love a basket though, cause sometimes I don't wanna have to, like you know there's, look, it's Dollar General. You know there's gonna be stuff on the floor. I don't wanna have to roll over it with a buggy. Yeah. So I'd rather have a basket. What I love about this comment though, is carts, that buggy. Judy does know that there are three carts, but they're always being used. Also, why are you buying so much stuff at Dollar General? 
that you need an entire cart. Everything I've ever bought in Dollar General could usually just fit in my forearm yeah. like a wee babe. I think that's why she gave them three stars is for the three carts that uh, she never gave. One star per cart. Mm -hmm. Judy, I think Dollar General thanks you for your review and they, I think they are considering it. <laughs> this is where we reveal that Adam is a spokesperson for Dollar General. Yes. <laughs> we hear you, Judy. <laughs> And we're gonna get right on that. Get more cards. Yeah. Write that down. We are on Amazon right now, buying, <laughs> buying more cards. Buying bright yellow cards. Yeah, we're gonna paint them. <laughs> Next is Michael G. And he gave five stars. Ooh. Wow, Dollar General. Bet you never saw this before. Michael G. <laughs> what? What? I just read the first sentence. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I bought a phone for ten dollars. Lady at the front was nice. I even bought three honey buns on sale. Cost me like a dollar. That's heck a yeah, great heck deal. yeah. I love, first of all, let's break this down. I love how it starts with, like I said. Like I said. So like, this guy's been having an ongoing conversation in the Dollar General reviews. Like I said, I bought a phone for $10. So Michael, what if this is his second review and the first one was like, I bought a phone for $10, five stars. Second review, like I said, I bought a phone for ten dollars. Ten like, stars. Michael's one like, star per one dollar. One review is above. not enough. <laughs> this is poetry. This is poetry. I even bought three honey buns on sale. Cost me like a dollar. That's a friggin' deal, you my gotta, guy. You gotta... And you had good service. No, that is a five star <laughs> I mean, that's review. That's five star review. Michael not only you got a this. phone. He had a nice interaction with a lady mm -hmm. and three honey buns. Have y'all ever microwaved a honey bun? Oh, it's so good. Mm, some good stuff. So this is from Melissa B in Atlanta, Georgia. Four stars. Very friendly, will answer question and help us short people reach stuff. Lol, just be patient. Melissa B had to be drawn when she wrote How'd this. How'd she know that you were short? Tell you, I am average height, okay? Like, 5'7 is average. It says help us, It 5'7 is average, but you're not 5'7. I am 5'7! <laughs> Get up, all right, stand up, we're doing this. <laughs> Do you really want to? Yes, all right, all right. I'm 5'7, tell you how tall are you? I'm 5'4. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not 5'4. All right, side by side, all right, back to back. Kaylee, am I 5'7? <laughs> I'm just a little guy. Just I need to find the Dollar General that's gonna be the most helpful to the little guy. Yeah. Because I'm just a little guy. I waited until we sat down to tell you that I am wearing my Doc Martens, so they do have an inch and a half on them, so. <laughs> but it was worth it because you're so upset. I like the idea of them assigning their tallest employee. It's like, we've got Betty here, who's six foot three. Well, and she bounces from Dollar General to Dollar General. She's like on contract. But like you're lifted up in like a cool way, not like a like by your shoulder. You just come <laughs> <laughs> My name's Talia and I, I make Ryan feel bad about his height in the Dollar General video. Give me, give me this. Give me this video. Gareth G from Dublin, California, gave it four stars in 2014. Customer service was friendly and helped me out finding what I needed. It is the first place where they told me, quote, I appreciate you at the register, which made me feel very wanted like a puppy in a kennel. Oh, Gareth. What Dollar General did he go to? Gareth, we appreciate you. What Dollar General did he go to? Well, that is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Gareth, um, baby. He just needs to feel wanted. I understand that. And he got that at the Dollar General? A puppy in a kennel. I have never felt wanted by the staff at the Dollar General. Maybe he's just not used to, you know, we say that sometimes as like a, thank you, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah, maybe he really took that to heart. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, oh. me? You, wait, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, who are you? Me, you appreciate me? Gosh, I feel like a he puppy. He carried that with him the whole day. I feel like a puppy in a kettle. Puppy in a kettle. I think it's sweet. I think it's sweet too, but like, at a Dollar General, they told Honestly, me Honestly, the energy you're giving off right now kind of just sounds like you're really jealous. Do you okay. need more? Ryan, I appreciate you. Thank you. And I wish you would tell me that more. <laughs> but that's we'll not what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay, we'll bring this up at our next therapy session. Let's move on. Sheila B in Nashville, Tennessee said five stars. Hey. <laughs> Today I met Steve. <laughs> He's kind and professional. I'm only giving this location five stars because of him. 
but the old lady with the white hair needs to watch her tone with customers. If she's frustrated at nine in the morning, maybe she needs to go back home. Ooh. That got intense, really. Like, I am often frustrated at nine in the morning, though. Um, yeah, I know, because I see you. Oh, but Steve. It's too early to be frustrated. Woo! Okay, there's a lot of layers to this one. A lot of characters. Sounds as well. like Sheila and Steve were really hitting it off. Uh, I believe so. And, and Miss Whitehaired Lady em said, Giddy. Employee number two came around and just said, I'm here too. <laughs> yeah. And she said, Give us some space. Yeah. Watch I will time. have none of that. Me and Steve are meant to be together. <clears throat> he is kind and professional. And what more could you want in a man? I've been frustrated earlier. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually, I'm usually spending the first several hours of the day frustrated. There is no time of day that it is inexcusable for you to be frustrated. Dollar General workers are supposed to have a tone. It's like Popeyes. By the time that I'm an old lady with white hair, I, I'm gonna have a tone with everyone all day long That's because I'm true. not gonna care anymore. Okay, Christy M from Milwaukee, Wisconsin gave five stars. Woo! Great pickles. Yeah. The best. Great pickles, nice staff. Their umbrellas kept us dry. The umbrellas purpose. <laughs> she said cheap cigarettes with two E's instead of an A. Came here quite a few times over our vacation in mid city and they kept us, and they kept is supported. Smiley face. So they're like therapy dollar general too. Yeah. Very supportive. <laughs> I'm having a rough time on vacation. My family's really driving me crazy. I've got to go to the Dollar General and just get a jar of pickles. Yeah. And those umbrellas work. Ooh. They kept them dry. The staff was nice. Great pickles. Cheap cigarettes. That should be their new tagline. Does Dollar General have a tagline? Great pickles. Cheap cigarettes. All right. That was, oh my god, that was it. This has been Dollar General Reviews with Talia and Ryan. Who both have normal length arms. Yes. And it's important that... And the same height bodies. Yeah, yeah, and we're both 5'7". And mm -hmm. it's important that we remember those two facts. Adam, I love your t-shirt. Yeah, I do love this t-shirt that I'm Say wearing. Say something about my t-shirt, Adam. Your t-shirt is really cool. Isn't it? I like your t-shirt so much, but I just don't know where to get it. Wait a second. Breaking news, breaking news, just getting in from the mainframe yeah. that yeah. <laughs> you also have an earpiece yeah. and you're also getting this news that you can actually get these shirts and other shirts that you've seen in this video from store.southernthing.com. Wow. And that's on the internet. That's, you don't have to leave your house. You don't even have to leave your house. You don't even have to, you could be naked and you could get one of these shirts and then you wouldn't be naked when it comes in the mail. Yeah. Yeah, if you need it for emergencies, like, oh, I'm naked. Oh, I'm na Oops. These are cool shirts. They're cool shirts. And if you want to look like us, you should get one. And who wouldn't want to look like us? Store.southernthing.com. Hello, I am Victalia. I am Carol Adam. And we are humans from It's a Southern Thing. Click here for subscription purposes. And click here to watch more videos. We are humans just like you. I am happy.